about to talk about oh you didn't say that you just okay. did that line <laughs> all right <laughs> hello everyone i'm brian birdsong from heli direct and today we're going to show you guys how to set up the telemetry full photo system today we got the 32mz transmitter along with the 760r fbl unit and with the Futaba ESC system. So here we go. So guys, before we even start with the telemetry setup, make sure all of your equipment firmware has been updated, right? Check your manufacturer's website, download the right software, get it updated. But make sure it's all updated before we even get started. All right, so after that, we're gonna walk you guys through the steps A to Z. So with me today, guys, I have my good buddy, Newbie Mike. And Newbie Mike is our local field Futaba expert. He's been flying Futaba equipment for about 10 to 15 years, and um, he's gonna show us how to get the telemetry set up. What are our first steps? Well, the first thing I like to do is take this uh, Futaba dongle. We're gonna stick it in the uh, S-Bus port in the back of the transmitter. In this upper slot right here where it says S-Bus, you can see that we've got power. And we'll go back over to linkage menu, sensor, page two, Hit reload, hit yes. And then we'll scroll over to page one. You'll see where we got Futaba. It starts at slot eight and goes through slot 15. Okay, so we got the dongle registered. Okay, now we have more components. Mike, what's the next step? Well, first thing I like to do is I like to put everything on the workbench. Go ahead and get my 760R registered to the radio, get it linked up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the uh, speed control. I'm gonna bench test everything, make sure everything's working, get my telemetry set up before I go install everything in the helicopter. That way I don't have the helicopter in the way, sitting there making a mess on everything. First thing I like to do is I'm gonna plug in my dongle to the S-Bus port, which is the second port over. Do not plug anything into the P-Box. Then I'm gonna take the, uh, the ESC throttle cable and plug that into my throttle channel which is the five port from the uh, left-hand side here. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna take my RPM wire and plug it into the very last port with the yellow wire facing up. Then I'm gonna hook this up to my 6S battery. So this shows that it's bound. I got my green light. Then I'm gonna come over to the transmitter hit my home to button and you can see I got my uh, voltage telemetry working right here. Let's take them to the, uh, the telemetry tile to see all of the um, telemetry items that we get from the futaba. And so what this will show us then is all of the, the various uh, telemetry items that we get from the futaba ESC. So we get uh, our ESC voltage, um, the, the, the current uh, amperage being used, capacity, rotation, which is the RPMs, um, throttle, the status of it, uh, temperature. So it's pretty good. It's all wired and connected. The ride or die. Don't let the ride or die. I keep waving my seat. Don't let the ride or die. I keep waving my seat. So hello everyone, this is Brian Birdsong. We're back with another telemetry episode here, but this time we have our YGE-205 ESC that we're going to set up with the ICON-2 FBL unit. All right, we're going to take both of those components and we're going to link them up with the T32MZ transmitter here. I got my friend newbie Mike back. And Mike, how do we get started with setting these two components up? All right, well, the first thing I like to do is I like to go into the transmitter, go to the linkage menu, and I'm going to go over to the uh, sensors. And then I'm going to start on slot 16, and I'm going to pick the uh, Castle TLO. Okay. I'm going to close that out. Then I'm going to go to page 2, and I'm going to go down to slot 24, and I'm going to pick the current F1678. 
and that's going to populate the next three. And then on 27, I'm going to pick uh, the temperature F1713. I'm going to close all those out, and we're done with this transmitter part. So that's our first step. What did we do? What's, what's the next step we did? All right, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to open up the uh, YGE software. We're going to go to the general tab. Then we're going to click on the advanced tab. And then under it says telemetry, we're going to make sure that our protocol is actually on the telemetry YGE. Okay. You're going to be able to pick all the different protocols out there. you got YGE, you got okay. Contronic, you got all kinds of, you know, Jetty, Futaba, Spectrum, JR. you got all these different types of protocols out there, so you need to tell the actual telemetry what protocol we're going to use. Okay. That makes sense. So after you get the, um, the telemetry set, you're actually going to take the uh, plug apart and you're going to have to move a couple cables around so you can plug it in a couple different spots on the actual icon so it'll actually send the signals in the correct port on the icon itself. And this is the cable that comes from the ESC itself? Correct. Okay. So this is our YGE telemetry cable right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this orange wire, which is our signal wire, we're going to pop it out of the plug here, and we're going to put it in its own plug to plug into the 456 port on the actual icon. So we're going to move that here, put this in the center, like that right there. And that cable's done. Now we're going to move the, the red wire, which is going to be our actual telemetry coming out of the YGE. We're going to move it up from the center to the top, and then our negative wire, our ground wire, we have to have that for this to work. If you don't have that, it doesn't work. So we're going to move that in this plug. Pop this up with a razor blade. Don't cut yourself. There. So you should now have two different cables. You should have the brown, the red on the outsides, and the orange in the middle. And then those are going to plug into the actual icon. The red wire is going to go up. I'm going to plug that into the last port right here and you're going to come over to the other side of the heli and you're going to plug your signal cable into 456 in the middle port on this side right here so now that we've okay hold on one sec yeah take your time oh. <laughs> i felt the giggle coming up i swear oh, to god dude. all right so now that we've <laughs> are you laughing i don't know i don't know <clears throat> So now that we've selected the YGE and the YGE software, okay, and we've modified the telemetry cable now to fit within the ICON 2, now it's time to go to the ICON 2 software to select the telemetry items that we need to load. So Mike, how do we go about doing that? All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and plug in your ICON 2, you're going to power up your bird, and then we're going to actually connect to the software. And then we're going to go over to the Diagnostics tab. There we go. And then in the Diagnostics tab, in the parameter settings, you're going to have to you're going to set all these uh, particular um, things that you want to data log inside the actual icon. And those are the uh, things that are going to get passed through from the icon through the telemetry to the actual transmitter itself. So you're going to have the ESC battery voltage, the ESC battery current, ESC battery used milliamps the ESC power output, PWM, the ESC burnt, BEC current amps, the ESC uh, RPM, temperature one in Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. temperature two in Fahrenheit, your throttle percent outage, and your governor status enabled or disabled, and then your motor RPM. Nice. It's a lot of telemetry items. Yeah, they actually are. All right, so now that we've got everything set up on the radio in the uh, helicopter, we're going to go to our linkage menu. We're going to go to our telemetry menu. We're going to see I got our voltage, our receiver voltage. We're getting some temperature readings from BEC amperage. BEC voltage here again. Go to page two, temperature, temperature, pack voltage, current. This would be our capacity. Go back over here and we're going to show you we actually got RPM. 
So we see RPMs raising and lowering. Okay. So we got like four major steps here. Yeah, it's pretty so, simple to do. Yeah, yeah. Once you understand it, it's pretty easy. Awesome. Just cool. getting all the settings to talk to each other, and that's pretty much what most people struggle with. Awesome. And we're back with more telemetry setup. And now this time what we're going to do is set up a more native approach with the YGE communicating directly to the 760 and the 32MZ. So we got a cool new gadget here from YGE itself, the YGE Taxi. Okay, uh, telemetry dongle. We're going to get this set up. Um, we're also going to use the programming box to make a couple of changes in the 760 and do some final setups inside of the 32MZ. And I got my buddy newbie Mike here with me again, and he's going to talk about how we get the dongle registered to the 32MZ. Mike. Thank you, Brian. So basically what we're going to do on this, just like we did on the uh, Fataba in one of the earlier videos that we've done, is we're going to plug this into the back of the transmitter here, and we're going to register the dongle. So we're going to see some lights light up on this thing. It's going to start flashing. There it goes. It's going to flash slowly. And we're going to come over here to the actual sensor menu. And we're going to hit reload. It's going to ask me if I want to go. Sure. Yes. And then it's going to register our slots for our actual texty here. So once we're done with that, we can clear out of this screen. Go back to the home menu. Unplug it. That part's done. Then the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to actually go into the programming software for the YGE and we're going to change the protocol for this to make sure it says Fataba. All right, so when we open up the YGE software, we want to go over here to the advanced menu and this is where you're going to set your telemetry type. And these are all the different ones you can choose from right here Fataba telemetry. I'm going to click on this right here and you're going to make sure you click on Fataba. Then after we get that done, we're going to plug this into the S bus 2 slot. And we're going to take the telemetry wire out of the uh, YGE, plug it into the actual dongle here. Make sure I got the wire correctly. Plug that in. And we're going to plug this in here to the S bus 2 port. It's going to flash. And then you'll see here on the screen, go over here to our home 2, and you'll see that we got some. Let's go over to the actual telemetry menu here, and you'll see that we get our actual telemetries and everything, throttle working, RPM. Yeah. Well, the, actually, to get the, the, the RPMs to work properly, too, so one of the changes we needed to make in the, the 760, um, and I'm going to use the programming box to do it, I'm basically going to go in here and go to our basic menu, and once I go to Governor Basic, on page one, I'm gonna sit here and make sure that I select the proper ratio, um, gear ratio for whatever setup I have in my bird, right? And I'm also gonna put the correct um, pole count of the motor that I'm using in my bird as well, okay? And then from here, I'll page over to page six, where I'll make sure that the RPM setup, give me one second here. So you page over the so tab over the page six, and you're gonna make sure that your S bus two RPM out is set to inhibited, and we're also gonna set the S bus two RPM slot to two in. Okay, once I make that change, I can add that to the 760, and I'm done here. So now what I'll do is go to the radio. So on the actual radio itself. The only thing we need to make sure is the type is magnet and the gear ratio is one. Okay. And then you can set your alarms or whatever you want to do from there. But that'll show me proper RPM output um, when I make those changes to the to the um, the 760 and the radio itself. Okay. And after we make those changes, I mean we're pretty much locked in at that point, and so you know it'll instantly start reading out the telemetry values, and um, we're good to go. So a very simple setup with a more native approach with the um, the, the 205 uh, HV YGE and the 760R.
Hello everyone, Brian Birdsong back with another telemetry setup video, but this time we're going to have our Contronic set up with our Futaba system. We're going to use a Cosmic ESC here. Um, make sure that your Cosmic ESCs are the HVI versions, those that have telemetry built in, and they're already kind of married to the Futaba system. So the, the Contronic um, uh, protocol is already built into the Futaba system, so I don't need to even wire this guy up to the back of my system to register it. I'm just going to go straight to the sensor, get it registered that way because I can select the protocol directly from the menu item, and we're good to go. Um, one of the first steps I needed to do though is make sure I had the wiring set up from the telemetry port set up to the SB port of the 760 gyro and that's all I needed to do. So once I did that, just got my bird turned on here, got my radio linked up to it. I'm going to go straight to my menu item here and get it going. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my linkage and then go straight to the sensor. And from sensor, um, I'll select slot 8. And you'll see a ton of different protocols registered in here. We'll see the Contronic ESC at the bottom. I'll select it, confirm it, sure. And it'll automatically put all of the items here for telemetry. I can go back out, go to my telemetry screen, and boom, I get everything registered on the screen here. I can see my ESC voltage. I can see the discharge rate. I can see my RPMs and temperature and all the other uh, telemetry items that they offer you. And that is about it, just that simple. One, two, three. Contronic and Futaba, married, happy couple. Easy just like that. So, thank you. Two. <laughs> that was two minutes long. Two. Two and a half minutes. <laughs> if it's that simple, I mean. Good Lord. It That's is so just good. that Now, simple. I would have said you needed to make sure that you got your that Futaba is only allowed to come out of the middle port on this because yeah. you can put it on other ports, but you need to make sure that if you got a Futaba gyro that you use the center port. Yeah, yeah, it. that's true too. I mean, they are labeled. Uh, I know, but one's labeled people different. can miss that. A lot of people don't read instructions. YouTube, okay, how do you do it? Yeah. So I would, I would yeah. add that little section in there. Well, I just recorded this whole section, so I'll just leave that in there since it's so short. Right, yeah. okay. Uh, oh, you so were recording us laughing and talking to each other? Yeah, I, I oh, always okay. record. See, the, the, the thing what I learned from music is always record. So when there's a singer going into the booth and we're trying to get a line or do something like that, I hit record before they even get in there. So I'm like, hey, so practice the line again. And I said, da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, one more time. Da, 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 right. So I'll grab it. I'll take it, put it actually in the song because most of the time their tempo is pretty much matched perfectly. But you had to nudge it over a little bit. And then right. we get the line and they don't even know it. So that's why I'm always recording. So well, even they go live and they're like, what do you mean? Sound, Cause you know, whenever they're live <laughs> versus what they're, they do in the studio, it always sounds different. Uh, you know. Yeah. But if they're true artists, they can, they can make it. You easy. know, I worked on Jermaine Dupri's studio here in Atlanta, right? Yes, I do. You've told me 45 million times. I didn't know if you knew that. Yep. That's 45 <laughs> million and one now. Thank you. <laughs> we hustle, but the night we Know that the ride or die. I keep playing on my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep playing on my seat. More when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. 